Today we are going to show you how to take horizontal bite wings with sensors. Bite wings are important in looking at the crowns of the teeth to determine interproximal caries and restorations and identifying bone levels. To begin, make sure you as the operator are wearing proper personal protective equipment. At UNMC, operators should be wearing a UNMC jacket and gloves. Before you start taking your bite wings, you need to set up your cubicle. To do this, you'll need to place barriers over the mouse, x-ray exposure button, and the control panel. Adjust the setting on the control panel to be on bite wings. Make sure to bag the back of the patient's chair. Log into your system to get to the patient's record and previous radiographs. Next, you will set up the instruments. To take horizontal bite wings, you will need a horizontal bite wing bite block, alignment rod, aiming ring, XDR sensor size 2, and a thyroid collar. Size 2 sensors are normally used for bite wing projections. Size 1 sensors can be used on children when taking bite wings. Here is the difference between a size 1 and size 2 sensor. The size 2 is the bigger one on top. Make sure to cover the sensor with the barrier before taking the radiographs. Next, set up the instrument pieces for bite wings. You will have one aiming ring with the centered and off-centered end. This device is used for correct alignment of the collimator and the sensor. Take the rod labeled bite wing and insert the prongs into the horizontal bite wing bite block labeled HPW. Insert the XDR sensor into the bite block gently and then center the sensor within the ring. The centered end of the ring is used for bite wings. Make sure the sensor is set up so the wire will be coming out of the mouth. Before taking the x-ray, you will need to seat the patient. Direct the patient to sit down and instruct them on what you will be doing today. The patient will need to be wearing the thyroid collar and be sitting upright with their maxilla parallel to the floor. To do the premolar bite wing, instruct the patient to open wide. Place the sensor between the tongue and teeth. Place the sensor to cover the distal half of the mandibular canine. The bite block portion should be rested on the occlusal surface of the teeth. Instruct the patient to close slowly. For a premolar projection, the distal half of the canine needs to be captured, ideally with open proximal contacts. Next, adjust the tube head and have the positioning indicating device parallel to the rod of the alignment device. Instruct the patient to hold still, leave the room, and expose the patient. After the sensor has been exposed, move the tube head away from the patient, ask to open and remove the bite block. Review the image. Here is a good example of a premolar bite wing projection. Most of the contacts are open or with less than one-third of enamel overlap. All the crowns and bone levels can be seen. To do a molar bite wing, the sensor needs to be far enough back to capture the most distal surface of the last molar and open proximal contacts. Ask the patient to open and place its sensor, and ask them to close. Position indicating device should be perpendicular to the buccal plane of the molars and parallel to the rod of the beam alignment device. Leave the room and then expose the patient. Ask the patient to open and remove the device from the patient's mouth. Move the tube head away from the patient and examine the image taken. This is a good image because you can see the distal surface of the last molar and the corresponding alveolar bone. To take the opposite side of the mouth, simply flip the beam alignment device. After taking all images, set down the sensor on the bibs laid on the cubicle, remove the patient's thyroid collar, and escort them out. After escorting the patient out, proceed to save images and clean up the station. Remove bag on patient's chair and all protective barriers that were placed.
Place used instruments back in the cassette and return to central dispensing. After returning contaminated instruments, discard dirty gloves. Use hand sanitizer and put on new gloves. Use cabby wipes to clean station, sensor, patient chair, x-ray unit, and thyroid collar. Return everything to its original position and sign out of the computer. And that's how you take a horizontal bite wing.